<clears throat> I think I'm recording. Let's see. Yep. I think it's the 11th. And the power's been out for over an hour. So, uh, it's not running too hard, and we have a generator house. I'm going to fire up the, uh, the generator here. First, we got to connect the, the cord to the house. 30 amp twist lock. <coughs> and I've got a quick connect on the battery here. I keep the battery in the house on a trickle charger. <coughs> uh, the battery that came with the generator never had enough power to uh, to crank it all even more brand new. Uh, last time I used this, I forgot to turn the gasoline on. I stored it on propane, which means I turn it down counterclockwise. Let's get the power cord hooked into the house first. <coughs> so I get the gloves off so I don't get it all wet. <coughs> <coughs> And of course now it's going to start raining. side door because uh, used to exhaust through there with the other generator but we generate a different exhaust so I didn't do it one time and the bird plays down <coughs> so here we go turn gas on uh, and the gas on I hope I don't lose it all. <clears throat> Chris, you're over the gas. Get the lead. I'll turn the propane off. Those downstairs go to the manual transfer switch. <coughs> it's got a uh, remote start fob. <coughs> but it's got a manual on off switch inside. So now that it's uh, on, the switch is on. And uh, guess thing turned on. I can remotely start it and shut it off. Shut it off and start it. Well, let's see if we have internet back and uh, I'll upload. <coughs> <coughs> 